To make the install easy and to optimize the wrap, it's also possible to dismantle certain components, such as the door handles, chrome trim, certain silicone seals, the wing mirrors, the headlights, fog lights and badges. If you need any help, please do not hesitate to contact a car dealership. The first step for a front bumper is to determine the center. Then we lift this area up again to heat on this side of the vehicle so that we can stretch it. An important thing is to watch out. This area will be stretched. The other side. Now we're going to use the memory effect of the vinyl to remove all of these wrinkles and cover all concave areas. We need to understand that on a bumper with horizontal wrinkles, the only way to remove them is to pull vertically, and there we're going to use the memory effect of the vinyl. For these wrinkles here, we can make a hole where the fog light is to lift the film. We lift the area with the wrinkles. We reheat this area. And the wrinkles are gone. We start again. Now we're going to concentrate on the concave area of the bumper. We've stretched the vinyl and we're going to use the memory effect of the vinyl to make it go into this area. You must not create any tension, but just hold the vinyl. We heat the area. You can see that the vinyl moves into place. These wrinkles here, same procedure as before, we heat. In this area of the bumper, we will really see how efficient the memory effect is. We lift the film and hold it. We heat it. And it settles by itself into the concave area. All we have to do now is to apply the film. What we must understand is, by releasing the memory effect of the vinyl in this area, there is no more tension in this deformation.
On the front or rear bumpers, it's very important to cut around the centers of the park assist so that it can function correctly. For a more aesthetical look, we could leave these parts covered, but this may prevent the correct functioning of the park assist. It's very important to correctly stretch the vinyl in relation to the shape of the vehicle. The problems that you may come across on the rim of the component come from the wrong tension at the beginning. Whichever component you want to wrap on a vehicle, you will always get wrinkles. Whichever the direction of the wrinkles, we must stretch the vinyl in the direction perpendicular to the wrinkles. If you do not have enough tension at the beginning, you might heat the vinyl and stretch in the wrong direction. You're not going to remove the wrinkles, you're going to increase them. Then, you apply the vinyl and concentrate all the wrinkles at the edge of the component instead of removing them. We're going to look at a problem that you can sometimes notice on wraps. That is to say, when the vinyl curls. This area will automatically lift off because there is bad tension at the beginning. We're going to heat the vinyl evenly to wrap the shape. Always keep in mind to wrap the shape. On all convex areas, it's necessary to use the memory effect of the vinyl. That is very important. You cannot do a convex area correctly if you don't use the memory effect of the vinyl. We're going to use the heat gun to heat this area and take the tension out of the vinyl. We lift the film off and hold it tensioned, and at the moment of heating, we release the vinyl. The vinyl will take the shape of the component without any further tension. Now we're going to see how to do a wing mirror using the same technique as on the bumpers by using tension and the memory effect of the vinyl. A tip to start with, apply the piece of vinyl film on the door stay, heat the entire piece and give it some tension. Then we pull the vinyl over the wing mirror and shape it roughly. We're going to heat this area so the vinyl shrinks back and takes the shape of the wing mirror. We hold it and apply it. We repeat these steps over the whole wing mirror.
Certain wing mirrors have to be done in two parts. Typically, this one here is one of these cases. The vinyl would not accept the deformation. So we take a black mat to have the same color as the window stay. So here it is in black matte, the same color as the window stay, and we have done the wing mirror in two parts. We're going to show you how to wrap a fog light with an extremely heavy concave deformation. The trick is to cut a small hole so as to be able to spread the material over the entire deformation. We see that the glass is situated on the left, so we make the hole towards the left. Then we take the thermal gun and heat the whole area that we want to stretch this area here. Then we take the vinyl directly down to the bottom. The protection with the tape makes the PVC glide so that we can then do the cut. If you look at the opening from closer, you'll notice that it's considerably enlarged. We have used the potential of this opening to compensate for the deformation. 